Hi, you guys. So I'm here at the B2B FinTech Marketing Conference. I'm super excited to get started. I think it's that way. Let's go. Okay, so we have just finished the first section. I've got five minutes, so I'm gonna give you a super quick update. First of all, it's very, very marketing-y. You can tell that it was made by marketers. So we have a robot. We have these absolutely heaving goodie bags. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around, but we have heaving goodie bags. We have a big glitzy video, but underneath it all, there's some really, really important messages. So some of the biggest ones I took out is that actually marketing people themselves are getting a little bit nervous about AI, how it's being used, if it's being used ethically or not. And as a copywriter myself, I have to say that I'm quite relieved that other people are getting worried because there's a very real chance that these robots are actually going to take my job, but <laughs> not just my job lots of people's jobs and if we want to avoid that happening we really have to start looking into that right now so that's my personal views let's go find out what everybody else thinks come with me So I'm really excited because I'm here with Andrea from Currency Fair. I managed to grab her because I have some questions I really want to ask. So Andrea, I loved your panel. Thank you. And as a copywriter myself, I wanted to ask you, is AI going to take my job? Is it going to be more creative than me? Absolutely not. Don't forget that AI is regurgitating what's already been created by really creative, smart, engaging copywriters, content creators. And AI is heavily reliant on that content being created first of all. And it just draws on it, summarizes it, synopsizes it, put, puts it together or picks it apart and puts it in different ways. But at the end of the day, the source of truth is coming from human creators. So I actually think that there's more of an opportunity for it to be an enabler and an amplifier for creative producers like yourself, mm -hmm. rather than be something for you to, to worry about. And I actually think it's going to unlock the opportunity for you to spend more time in that real human creative bit, rather than in the um, production, um, less human piece of it. So I actually think there's a real opportunity. So Crystal, tell me, what has been the most impactful thing that you've got so far from this event? Uh, so first of all, the energy is incredible and uh -huh. it's great to have an event dedicated to us Yay. at B2B FinTech Marketing, so that's great. And I'd say, I mean, something new, at least validation, is really, sorry, AI, artificial intelligence. I think that's probably the most commonly uh, debated topic today. Yeah. And various angles as well. So that, that was interesting, if not a novelty, at least it's um, reassuring, exciting, sometimes boring, but yeah. to see all the applications. Quickly tell us three things you love about the event. The energy, the networking, obviously, and the content, which is second to none. So we just finished the second session and while the first one was a lot more about chat GBT and AI and how it's infiltrating our lives, this next bit was much more about marketing technology. Marketing budgets are getting seriously squeezed. The teams really need to rally together to use their data to try and get that maximum return on investment. Now I'm going to go around and chat to a few people to see what they thought of it.
So we are super lucky because we have just managed to get the organizer of this event, Pyle Rayner. Thank you so much for taking a minute to talk to me. How are you feeling? I am absolutely thrilled because all the love and support you've got from the community this year and uh, we have doubled in size, not from a community standpoint, but for this FinTech B2B marketing conference uh, where we have got the senior leaders, decision makers, influencers across the globe coming in all together from traditional financial services and FinTech space on one global forum. So all of us work in marketing, right? And we're like, not that appreciated. And I heard that you are in fact giving us our awards. You're creating a recognition program. Can you tell me more? Sure, uh, no, uh, that's something, uh, a really big uh, initiative for the community this year. And it's kind of driven by the members. So the feedback we got from the members is that marketing are unsung heroes. Right. So is there a way we can recognize the marketers? So as a community, we took that initiative on board to say, we're going to make that happen for you and give the recognition the marketers within the fintech and financial services space need. Um, also, we are planning the awards night on 17th of October in London. In London. Okay. In London. And this is a global awards program. So it doesn't matter you are based in any part of the world. We welcome all the submissions uh, globally. There are going to be 11 categories in the awards program. So we are looking at right from you know the best marketing campaign mm. to looking at the best marketing tech technology, all the way looking at the positive disruptor to the marketing leader. So uh, yeah, we're really excited and looking forward and we've got some fantastic judges to ensure that awards are transparent, they are simple and uh, everyone gets an opportunity to celebrate their industry peers. Oh, that sounds amazing. So we better hurry up and put our submission in. 100%, yes, really, yeah. So, uh, you know, anybody who's watching this, I would truly recommend for them to, you know, go ahead and put their hat in the ring. So that's been me, Hannah Duncan, at the B2B Marketing Conference. I look forward to seeing you all again next year. And that's all the time we have for today on FinTech Finance. Thank you for tuning in and learning more about the exciting world of financial technology. We hope you found our discussions informative and insightful. 